few days ago when Amazon's cloud went down. A number of you wrote and asked if Amazon has all these redundant nodes, why didn't developers use them? Oh, you sweet summer child. You might want to sit down for this or perhaps pour yourself a drink. Listen, let me explain a term called technical debt. Essentially, when a company creates an application, they don't often do it from scratch. They might take an old application and throw that application up into the cloud. Now, it takes a lot of time and coding and effort to distribute that application across multiple nodes. Now, if you're a software company, software is your core product, you might spend more time making sure your software is very robust. But let's say you're a company that operates oil drilling rigs. You might not want that software for exploring oil wells at every single site. That might be really hard to maintain. And how many software developers do you think you can get to live in Nebraska? You might have that in the cloud and you have a good internet connection, maybe through Starlink, you pull off that information in the cloud. Their software becomes a cost center. It costs money to develop software. And every dollar you spend on developing software means one less dollar you can use to actually drill for oil. Companies like that, which is basically every company that isn't a software company, will tend to do just that. They'll write their software, throw it up in the cloud. Hey, it works. Awesome, let's go make money. So you have to weigh the cost of the occasional outage with the cost of developing a robust redundant system. So if you're an airline or a car rental agency or a hotel, something that operates globally and you need to be up 24 seven. And you might say, well, Roblox and Fortnite were down and they're made by software companies. Well, yeah, but they're not really mission critical. Are kids really gonna stop playing Roblox or Fortnite because it went down for eight hours? Believe it or not, a good portion of the tools and software you use every day are written by software engineers who are constrained by time and by money. They want to make the software as perfect as possible, but they have a limited amount of resources in order to do that. And ideally, they just want this freaking software to work, and once it works, management says, okay, great, ship it. There's a saying in software engineering that perfect is the enemy of good. If you're writing software and it's good enough to ship, well, you might as well ship it and start making money. Cheers.